Settlement fails, aka FTDs, up 42% at NSCC from yesterday alone. Is the CAT system finally shining light? And GameStop alone had 39 million worth of FTDs in May. On top of that, the cost of borrow is skyrocketing once again up 700%. And also, there's no ability to route GameStop orders to exchanges via Fidelity. Yet, every other ticker is working fine, including AMC. What is going on, guys? Lottery Socks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Today, we have a lot of stuff to cover with AMC as well as GameStop. Make sure to watch until the end of the video. All I ask you to do, it's free, is like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn post notifications on. Let's get into it. Okay, GameStop open interest has now grown to 144,257 on the $20 calls for June 21st, representing 14.425 million shares. We saw the GameStop mystery whale snag another 5,000 contracts 20 seconds before the close yesterday. So open interest has been continuously building since May 20th. These whales are buying calls, GameStop's dipping, and they're buying more and more calls at a discounted price. Speaking of whales purchasing GameStop calls, Vanguard added 20% of AMC stock in all their funds. Every time they filled additional shares, the stock ran one or two days later. Whales are in. Now we've been getting a lot of new viewers on the channel. And if you weren't watching the channel prior to when AMC and GameStop started rallying recently over the past couple of weeks, we have called out every single thing to a T, whether it's Spy, Tesla, AMC and GameStop, the list goes on and on. Our callouts have been very, very good. And I know sometimes as soon as I mention something potentially bearish could happen temporarily, people start to click off the video. You guys need to just watch it because I don't sugarcoat things. Don't lose money. One thing I can announce yesterday, I made a little bit of a mistake without fact checking GameStop announcing earnings not on June 5th, actually on June 11th. Okay, so GameStop is announcing earnings on June 11th, 2024. And we have seen a ton of catalysts lining up for early June as well as mid and late June that could cause everything to explode all these funds to fall apart and we have another one the FOMC blackout period begins tonight federal reserve members are restricted from speaking publicly on matters regarding the fed until after the june 12th meeting okay let's touch on the charts gamestop 2265 up 0.18 basically just holding up on the day if we see a full candle open and close above $25, this invalidates the retracement down to $10. As of right now, based on previous cycles, assuming nothing's gonna happen with the CAT system T plus one, which is very unlikely that nothing will happen, that is the target, okay? Following that target, even if it is hit, you're coming up between $37 and $40, okay? This is what I see happening on GameStop. That retracement, then that catapult up here. If we get a full candle close again above 25, then we will reevaluate the price action. AMC as well, breaking our support at 435, now trading at 419, down 0.95%. If we don't hold this trend line at $4 even, and then 350, either way, based on the cycle, AMC is coming down to $1.99, which is prehistoric lows before the split happened, right? And then after that, even if that price is put in, it's coming up to 630 then $13 before launching higher. This is just the beginning of the run-up. So I still see AMC squeezing late June, mid-July, even if it doesn't squeeze right here. Now, do you remember when Berkshire Hathaway was a textiles company, American Express was an express mail business, Nokia was a pulp mill, Samsung was a grocery trader, Marriott was a root beer stand, Instagram was a check-in app? I don't. Businesses evolve. Other examples, take a look at who posted this. This is Larry Chang. Recently, we've seen him purchasing much, much more GameStop shares. Now he's coming out May 30th, 2024, 1026 AM, tweeting a hint that GameStop is evolving and their earnings are coming up. Okay, I wanna move on to a couple of things. Tesla finally finishing its pattern right here. I think next week, even if Tesla opens up around 166, is bullish, okay? couple months out, I see Tesla coming all the way up to $230. I think the bear run is coming to an end on Tesla. Apple. This is what I see happening with Apple. I see a large retracement. One last retracement coming down to test this trend line right around 164 before moving higher. I think Apple puts for enough time for it to hit this low in August is not a bad idea. Nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Just trying to make people some money. But again, take everything I say with a grain of salt. Okay, moving on, 
Trump was just found guilty on 34 counts. You probably heard of that, but I wanted to bring it up because of DJT stock. I don't think this thing is over. It's only down 5% on some pretty bad news. Now, there are some controversy going on about this, but watch DJT because I think this is a buy the rumor, sell the news into the election, especially seeing that Trump is winning. Donald Trump remains the favorite to win U.S. presidential election according to the betting markets. Okay, moving on. Crypto, Bitcoin, 67,200. We are holding 66,500 in this bottom parallel support level, which is something that we want to see. We touch point here, touch point here, touch point here. Every single time we rallied off of it. Watch for a rally from Bitcoin into this weekend above 73,000, potentially making a new all-time high before the market opens Monday, which is going to bring us into the market and everything selling off. NVIDIA slumps on report of U.S. government restricting AI chip sales to Middle East. We saw NVIDIA take a nosedive all the way up from $1,155 all the way down to $1,070, okay? NVIDIA, keep in mind, filled a perfect gap, and now it is rebounding. I don't think this is going to last too long. NVIDIA still has room to spike. It's going to kill all the bears that are entering too early before that last push, and then that's where you want to come in for NVIDIA. Now the market, April PCE inflation, the Fed's preferred inflation measure was 2.7% in line with expectations of 2.7. Core PCE inflation was 2.8, also in lines with expectations. Both headline and core PCE inflation were unchanged. Higher for longer is here to stay, which is not necessarily the greatest for the market, and we're going to get into the market. Lastly, that's not good for the market. Joe Biden has secretly given permission to Ukraine to strike inside Russia using American weapons. War is not good. Now, SPY, 520. What did we say yesterday? Another call out that was predicted. If SPY breaks under 520, we're coming down to 520. What happened? We came down to 520. We almost tested the 518 level that we said we could test. And SPY is rebounding right now. This is buy range for a couple weeks out, few weeks out, maybe a month or two out. The SPY has not made its all-time high yet, and I still think that is coming. Again, be very, very careful for this. If the SPY breaks under 518, we're coming into this box at 515 to 510, okay? So be aware of that. Overall, guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. A couple things that I wanted to let you know. A free broker. If you download Moomoo using the top link under the video, open an account and deposit into there, you're getting up to 15 free stocks and 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash. That's an additional 3% on top of what everybody else is trying to do. Moomoo is just trying to be the best. So go to that top link right here, open an account and make a deposit into there. Also guys, pop in the Discord. I'm in there on the daily. I post my trades. We talk stocks all day long. Overall best vibes, whether you're a beginner or advanced trader, this is the place to go and I'm not overcharging like everybody else on YouTube. Lastly, if you're having trouble trading and you want an insanely helpful tool, go get my custom indicator. That is the very, very top link under the video. I'm happy to bring it to you guys. I love you all. Lottery socks out.